Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shellcraft One and my old barn door. And this is the follow-up video that I told you guys I would do um, to the um, last video, which was for the Farming Charm Digi Kit um, that is available in my shop now. Um, and here is the journal that I made with it. Love the little rusty pen with the rooster and the beads. So I had told you I had several other items to go into my shop as well. And so I thought I'd do this separate video real quick. Show you guys what I've got um, uh, available. And um, some of these I may put into eBay and some I may put into Etsy. Um, thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, I am trying a, um, a different way of doing things just to kind of compare to Etsy and see, um, you know, what the differences are and things like that. So if y'all don't mind bearing with me, I will make it as easy for you as possible. Um, basically, everything that I have here, um, I will put links in the description box below to every item. And that way, you'll be able to find them easily and you don't have to worry about, oh, do I go to eBay or do I go to Etsy or or what have you so <coughs> excuse me so that way it'll be easy for you it's just some things that I'm trying to do to figure out you know if I'm staying with Etsy or not basically so thank y'all for being patient with me for that uh, through that <coughs> excuse me um, okay so I had I told you guys that um, I had made some um, some blank journals kind of like this one um, and so I've left them very um, um, simple um, they are two signature journals and some of them have the farming charm journal page digital pages in it um, but a lot of them I just kind of mixed um, a lot of my different digis um, into these journals so I'm just going to do a quick flip through um, real quick just to kind of show you so this is without um, you know the laces or the ribbons on the edges of the pages and there's no pockets they're just um, you know the blank journals again I didn't put pockets on the inside covers because I thought the fabric was just too pretty to cover up so I'm just gonna do quick flip throughs there are a whole lot of vintage pages um, in these journals um, this is from my digital kit, um, the Farm Collage Digital Kit. Okay, I wanted to pull up my digitals so that I can tell you. Um, this one is from the Farm Style Digital Download, um, is what it's called. So that's where you'll find that one. This one is from the Autumn Farms Digital Download. Again, you have lots and lots of vintage pages. And then I love this. Um, this is from, um, I think it's a Sears catalog, um, but I loved it with the cow in there. Um, this one is from the Autumn Farms Digi Kit. Um, you get some of this wonderful, authentic vintage ledger. This one's um, from 1918 and 1919. Um, this is from a vintage locks um, book. These are some of the papers that my sweet friend Debbie Long sent to me. Um, vintage music. This is from, um, let me look and see how exactly I named it so that you can find it easily. Okay, this is from the Forever Grateful um, digital um, download um, kit. It's, um, it's like a gratitude journal. But, I mean, the, these pages go well with the farm stuff. Um, this was from a vintage um, magazine, and I love it. I love this little, I love the vintage ads. So, um, this is some of the handmade paper. And then this one is from the Autumn Farms Digi Kit. So, again, it just kind of shows you that you can mix and match the digital kits um, and they go really well together so I'm going to do quick flip throughs of these um, especially on the second portion of the signature um, because you know you've seen the first part of it so there's no sense in you know lingering through um, when I'm just doing kind of quick flip throughs okay this one again is from 
um, the same digi as this one is from the Farm Style Collage or the um, Farm Style Digital. Again, some more of these vintage ads from vintage magazines, vintage music. Um, I put lots of, well, I put you a lot of pages in here that you can journal on or you can decorate over. This is from the Gratitude Journal. Some more of those vintage magazine pages with ads. This is from the farming, I mean, Autumn Farms TG kit. This is from that children's activity magazine. Some color and bit pages, vintage wallpaper, coffee dyed paper. And this is from a vintage um, recipe book. This is from Autumn Farms. Vintage recipes. This is from the Farm Style Digital. Um, so yeah, you can mix and match these and they go really, really well with each other. Um, so it just kind of shows you, but I will put these um, these actual books. They're two signatures. Each, each journal is a two signature journal. And so they'll be in my shop. I'll put the links below. So there's that one. It's got the fabric on the spine. And I hid the stitching. Um, then you have this one. And again, it's got the fabric on the inside, on both of the inside covers. This is from the Farm Style Digital. Again, um, vintage wrapping paper, line pages. There's some more vintage ads. Um, Autumn Farms, vintage music paper that you write your own music on. Is he not hilarious or what? <laughs> I had to put him in here. <laughs> this is from Charming Farms. Some vintage ledgers. Some of the pages Debbie sent me. Um, the Gratitude Journal. This is some of the handmade paper. This is from that vintage lock book. Another one from the Farm Style Digital. Vintage recipe, vintage music. Um, this is from Autumn Farms. Um, this one folds out. This was gifted to me by one of my sweet friends. Um, and I can't remember. I think there's... Um, I can't remember how many pages are in these. But I will count them and I'll put that information in the listing information. So that you'll be able to look at that toothpaste um, ad and this is something for a washing machine <laughs> so these are really really great it's a good start to make you know um, this is from autumn farms and you can make these farm style journals or you can make them vintage style journals or you know whatever kind of journal you want to make them this is from autumn farms vintage wallpaper um, you know, they don't have to be a farm style journal, but I did them, I created them with that in mind. But you can make it anything you want to make it. This is from Farming Charm. And this is another um, page from that uh, vintage recipe book. There's another one of my handmade pages. Um, this is from Autumn Farms. Vintage recipe. I love her little dress. It's so stinking cute. And a little peek on the coloring book page. This is from the Gratitude Journal. This could be a recipe book if you wanted it to be a recipe book. Um, this is from the Farm Style Digital. So I'm just saying, you know, does it have to be a farm book? But it can be. Or it, it's just versatile. It, you know, you can do what you want to with it. This is from Autumn Farms. So just doing quick flip throughs because I've got a couple of other things that are going to go in the shop as well um, as these journals. Um, I have some fabric packs and I have some goodie packs that y'all are going to love, I think. Let's see, did we do this one yet? Which one did we do already? Okay. So then we've got this one. This is the last one. Again, it's got the fabric on the spine uh, with the hidden spine. And again, I left them simple so you can decorate it the way you want it. Um, again, no pockets on the inside covers because I just couldn't cover the fabric. You can if you want to. I'm, I just like the fabric. Um, this is from Autumn Farms it, Digital Kit. 
And again, some lots of vintage pages in here, vintage recipe pages. This is from the Farm Style Digital Vintage Wallpaper. This was a vintage, um, like it goes in a three ring binder, like a divider. Yep, that's it. Vintage accounting paper. Um, this is from Autumn Farms. This is actually from, um, I think this is from the Gratitude Journal. Vintage um, receipts. This is from the Farm Style. There's some more handmade paper. I oh, love, love, love these ads. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So I did this one. This is from the Gratitude Journal, but then on the back of it, I printed this page from the Autumn Farms. And so they go really well together. So, you know, you can mix and match. Okay. I love this page. And this is the other side of that vintage receipt. See, that's the other side of that divider page. And vintage wallpaper. Hopefully I'm staying in frame okay. I haven't really even looked at it. I probably should have. And then this is the beginning of the second signature. Again, this is from Autumn Farms. And this is from the Farm Style Digital. Vintage wallpaper. Um, this is from... I can't remember what vintage book that's from. Music. This is from the Gratitude Journal. Or the Gratitude Digital. This is from Farming Charm. I love this magazine ad. And this is a vintage receipt from 1927, and it's the real, the actual receipt. It's not a copy. This is from Autumn Farms. Some farming workbook pages. This is from the Farm Style Digital. So again, um, I've mixed and matched. This is from the Gratitude Digi Kit. And I'm not trying to take up the whole video trying to show you these journals. Um, but I just kind of wanted you to see. See, there's the other side of that vintage receipt. You might want to be careful with this. Um, love the vintage ads. So these are the blank journals okay two signatures all of them are two signature journals there's three of them they're all two signature journals and um i'll leave the links below okay so now i have um vintage ephemera packs um i did these i made these for um my newer subscribers and the people who are kind of newer to junk journaling um, because I've had a lot of people um, tell me, you know, that it's it takes, you know, and it does. It takes a long time to build up your supplies. It takes a long time to, you know, find all of these vintage things, um, you know, that you see everybody using in their videos. And it gets expensive. And so I thought I would make some little packs um, that would be able to help the people who are kind of new to journaling to be able to get a different variety of the vintage items without having to break the bank to do it. So I made up these little kits and there's over 50 items um, in these kits. Let's see if I can get everything out. Okay, so you get the bag and then you're gonna get a couple of the yo-yos. Um, pretty much everything in here is vintage. Um, I think there may be just a couple of things that's not vintage, um, but for the majority of it, this is a vintage ephemera pack, so I guess we'll just call it that, a vintage um, ephemera pack, and I wanted to do it at a price point that was really, you know, low so that it didn't cost you an arm and a leg to gather up, you know, kind of a different variety of vintage items that you can use. Hang on, I need a drink of coffee. Okay, sorry about that. This um, sickness that I'm still trying to get over is just lingering, and it seems like if I talk too much, my throat gets scratchy. Um, so anyways, um, I'm just going to go through and show you. So each kit 
has one of these little, um, the Kodak, uh, well, they may not all be Kodak. They have these little sleeves, you know, that you can decorate and, and use in your journals. You get a coin, um, coin envelope, and this is a craft color coin envelope. When I bought these, they said that they were um, seed packs. Um, so you can either call them a seed pack or a coin envelope. It's pretty much the same. And then you're going to get um, a sheet from this. It was actually, let me see if I can find it. It is this little notebook here, which I think is so fun. Um, from this man. And I think he was Polish. I believe that's, that's what they said. And so some of it is written in English, but this is his little notebook um, from, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, I know it was from the early 1900s. I just can't remember when. And I'm not going to flip through and try to find the date now. But anyways, so I just thought that would be cool. You can either put this on the back of a tag or you can copy it. Lots of things you can do with this, but it's, um, you know, good piece of vintage ephemera. Um, now, this one is not new, um, but I just love the little coin envelopes. And if you don't like this, you know, decorate the front of it. But a little coin envelope, you get a doily. This is not new. Um, these are vintage. Um, so you get two of these vintage recipe cards. Um, then you're going to get, I'm going to put that to the side and we'll do it last. You're going to get some, um, some of these playing cards are vintage and some of them are newer. Um, but like this one is is vintage but it was still in the box when i got it so it's vintage new new vintage i don't know but anyway so you know you're going to get some that you can play with um do some um altering you can alter them um and do some decorating on them but there are 10 of these i think these packs have um over 50 pieces in them so it's a good starter pack for someone who's looking for vintage ephemera to have um to be able to play with and you know add into your journals you get a time card here i don't think these are considered vintage um but they have that vintage look you know you can coffee dye these decoupage a napkin on them or whatever um, so you kind of get the gist of it. I'm not trying to lie to you and say everything in here is vintage. It's not, but the majority of it is. Like these Yahtzee scorecards, I absolutely love, love, love these. They're from 1956, and you can tell. I mean, they just have that old look on it. I love the type setting that they used on them. Um, the guest checks are not new. I mean, not um, vintage. So you get two of the pink guest checks. This one is, uh, it's a 1978, um, first day of issue envelope and so now let me just preface this by saying not all of them will have the same envelope in it not all of them will have the exact same ephemera you know because i don't have um that many of this one postcard do you know what i'm saying so but you get the gist of it you're going to get something very similar so um this postcard is from 1920 there's a number there, but I can't read it. I'm going to hold it up and let y'all see it. So, anyways, um, you get a vintage postcard, this first day of issue. Some type of a first day of issue. It's either going to be an envelope or a postcard, okay? Uh, but they're from the 70s and 80s, I think. Um, and I think I might have seen maybe one or two of them that was in the 90s. Um, this is a page from a 1925 Farmer's Almanac. And so I thought these would really be cool to scan or, you know, collage with or whatever. Um, you've got a few of these bridge scorecards. I don't think that they're particularly old, um, but bridge was, you know, an old game, you know, like a vintage game. So these are great to add into your pockets, um, your journal pockets, and journal on them. Um, you can journal on the front and the back of them. You can use them as a tip-in. Um, you can use them for making lists. You can decoupage on them. Lots of things you can do with those. Um, and these, sadly, are still co are considered vintage. <laughs> uh, so you get a couple of these phone message sheets. Um, and then I have five of these smaller size Rolodex cards. Okay, let me show you this. These are the 
regular size Rolodex cards, you get five of those, and then you get five of the small ones, like the little miniature ones. So you're going to get some type of a vintage um, label or some type of piece like this. And then this is um, uh, from, I don't really know how to read it. It's German, um, but it is vintage. I got it from the Snippet Shop. Um, and she she has so much vintage um, stuff um, and so she sent me a, a pack of it and so each kit will have something similar of course it may not all have fish I know some of them had a butterfly and one of them had a bird and you know just different things but you get the cool little cards um, that have the German writing on them and then for the last item in here you're going to get this little um, glassine envelope, and it's got um, six vintage tickets, I believe, and ten vintage stamps. So, now this one's not vintage. It's just one of those little, you know, little price, or um, I guess, do they call this a garment tag? I don't know. And they may not all be gray. They're in different colors. You won't get the same exact tickets because they're all different colors, different styles, all that good stuff. Um... So you're going to get six tickets and then ten of the vintage stamps. Um, and it's, of course, again, just a variety of, whoops, of vintage stamps. But you get ten of them in the, your little pack. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I would make some little packs to share some of my goodies that... I have found along the way because I remember when I first started doing junk journaling and all these people had all this cool vintage stuff and I was like holy crow it's gonna take me forever to come up with all of this where do I find it blah 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 so I thought I would just make it easy and put it all in one little pack for y'all um, you know and it's an inexpensive pack so you don't have to break the bank to get you some vintage stuff to play with in your journals so these will be available in my shop as well. I will have the link to these below um, so that you can find them easily. And then the last item up for grab, oh, I have 15 of these, so I might want to grab them quickly um, because those get, tend to go pretty fast. And then the last, I think this is the last thing I have. Yep, the last item I have are these um, little packs of um, vintage fabric. Um, and if you've been watching my channel for any length at all or any length of time if y'all remember when i went to the lake with my aunts and we had that wonderful weekend together and um my aunt dolly told me that she had lots and lots of fabrics to give to me but they were in georgia at her other house and so um when i went to georgia for thanksgiving um she gave them to me and i haven't had time to even pull them out or anything you know trying to get ready for the holidays and then being sick and all of that so I was finally able to pull the tub out and you know look at everything and so there's some beautiful beautiful vintage fabrics in here um, a lot of them are from the 60s and 70s which I love I think it's really really cool and so each pack has I think it's well we'll just count them let's see hold on I'll count them okay so there's 15 pieces plus the the tie in each pack so I'm just going to show them to you real quick. Um, and they're, some of them are bigger pieces. Some of them are smaller pieces. They're irregular. I didn't cut perfect on everything. I'm not going to per cut perfect on everything because that takes too much time. And y'all know how that goes. So most of my fabrics I rip anyways because I can't cut straight, which I'm getting better. But, I mean, these are good-sized little pieces. So you have this one. Um... You know, and they're not going to all be perfect in the, every pack, but, um, and this one, and I tried to keep these, these weigh around eight or nine ounces. Um, I wanted to keep them under a pound so that they wouldn't cost you a whole lot to ship them. Um, there's this piece. I love the pattern on this one. Very pretty colors on this one. Um, then you have some of this, which is, this is probably one of my favorite ones. I love the green. I'm totally into the green lately, and I love the patterns on this. And you can tell, you know, that these are 70s um, style fabrics. And on some of them, um, the strips that I ripped even had the little small white strip on it that gives the date of, you know, 
um, I don't know, 1977 or 1967 or something like that, but really pretty florally patterns, which we all love, and this makes me ready for summer. <laughs> you know, after Christmas is over with, I'm ready for summer. Um, then you'll get um, one like this, and again, they may not always all be cut the same. They're cut irregularly. Um, I love, love, love this one. This one is beautiful for farm style journals or even vintage journals. This one's really, really versatile because it's not, you know, a particular pattern. Um, you'll get some kind of piece like this. Some of them just have some random pieces in them. Um, then you're going to get some of this one, which I love love the small floral patterns actually I just realized that's not floral it's little teeny tiny stars and dots <laughs> but anyways this is just kind of a way of sharing um, with you um, you're gonna get some kind of a random one this one's really big not all of the random pieces will be really big like this one's doubled um, but they won't this was the only piece of this that I had and then I had some other random pieces. So in your, you know, your little bundle, you're going to get some kind of random piece of fabric. And then this one I love, 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 love. The, I think this one said 1967 was um, the year of this one. I love that with the yellows and then the blue flowers and the white flowers with the green leaves. That screams 60s and 70s to me. This is one of my favorite ones, and I have a bunch of this. So I think I might sell some of this in like half yards or quarter yards. I don't know. We'll see. Y'all tell me if that's something that you'd be interested in because it's a good, really good thick fabric. This is not a cheap fabric. It's a very good quality fabric, and I absolutely love the ginghams. So that one's going to get you get a couple of pieces of that one. I didn't include that second little piece in the... Um, 15 pieces um, you're gonna get a plain purple piece and I don't know that I included that in there either those are just random pieces that I just kind of threw in and then this one is a good really thick good fabric and look at that beautiful green isn't that gorgeous I'm absolutely in love with this one so there's that one and you know to find all of these vintage fabrics um, would cost you an arm and a leg and I'm doing these packs for really really cheap um, just to kind of give you guys some vintage fabrics that you can play with and then look how big this piece is and is this fabric gorgeous or what I love this fabric and I think at one point in time my aunt Dolly had curtains that she made out of this fabric and so um, I don't think this was a curtain but anyways beautiful beautiful fabric I didn't iron it I am not going to iron all these fabrics I'm just not going to do it um, but I will share them with y'all and if you want them ironed you are more than welcome to iron them so anyways there's a 15 piece uh, little fabric pack uh, for you guys to grab up I only have nine of these um, so if you want one run and grab it while you can um, while they're all while they're still in there and again these are going to be um, listed for a really really great price so if you have any comments or questions you can leave them in the comment box below if you will like and subscribe for me because it does help me and I thank y'all so much for watching hope y'all have a great day big hugs